Hey everyone, Craig with Single Length School, and in this video, I want to talk about a topic that's kind of been eating at me a little bit when it comes to single length irons. Let's get started. <music> If you are new to the channel, haven't yet done so, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the notifications bell right beside it, and when I'm done with this video, if you like what I'm talking about, give me a big thumbs up, hit that like button down below so others know to come check out this video. Also, don't forget, go check out our social media channels. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. And if you have any questions, need any tips when it comes to single length irons or my simplified single plane swing, go check out the website singlelengthschool.com. Now, there's a topic that's been, I've been getting emails about and been getting private messages about and being shared certain videos from others in the golf industry when it comes to single length irons. And I'm talking the Rick Shields, the Peter Finches, the Golf Techs, some of these big motivators in the golf industry, some of the big movers that really have a lot of influence in the golf industry that are out on YouTube or they have their own stores, whatever it may be. And I think this is a big fault on Cobra more than anybody. It's the bashing, I don't want to call it bashing, but it's the, the tendency of these other people in the industry to stay away from single length irons and really not give a strong recommendation of single length irons. And it's nothing against Rick Shields. Listen, Rick is the biggest, probably the biggest one individual that influences the golf industry. He influences YouTube. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for Rick Shields and Peter Finch and James Robinson and all those big golf YouTubers. I wouldn't. And it's nothing against them. As I said, Golf Tech recently released a video where one of their staff members was talking about the Cobra one length irons and he's been in them for a month and another member's there, uh, another staff member's there and, you know, just doesn't get the concept. And you know, Rick and Peter Finch and all these other YouTubers have kind of really kind of been in the same process or the same thought process, I should say, of single length irons and it not being for them. Listen, these are the big movers in the industry. And I understand that companies like Cobra and Adele and, you know, One Iron Golf and Pinhawk and all those guys would love to have a glaring thumbs up from Rick Shields and Peter Finch and those guys. And I don't blame you. They move the needles. Rick Shields has promoted other golf YouTubers on his page and they've gone from 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 really quick. He's a big influencer and I get that. But when it comes to single length irons, I'm sorry, it's just not their cup of tea. It's not that they don't understand the concept or want to understand the concept. It's the fact that they don't really give it a true shot. So when they're reviewing the Cobra irons, and let's face it, Cobra is the only company sending single length or one length irons to these guys to review. They're gonna do their due diligence over the course of a day. They're gonna run it through the simulator, they're gonna run it out on the course, and they're gonna give you their feedback. They never really fully dive in to the whole theory and the concept of playing single length or one length irons. And the same issue with Golf Tech. Their recent video, and that's the one that kind of really sparked this and really kind of pissed me off a little bit, was the fact that they're bashing it without even trying it. The concept is there. And listen, we're all people, everybody that I'm mentioning, all the YouTubers, everybody out there, all the companies out there that are golf related, we're all doing the same thing. We wanna help golfers get better at the game and help amateurs start to break 100 or break 90 and really help everybody enjoy the game because that's gonna help grow the game. And to me, single length irons is the way to do that because once somebody's into the single length irons and actually truly gets into the concept of the same ball position, 
the same swing, everything's exactly the same. Eliminate as many variables as possible. Yes, they can absolutely golf better and they can lower their scores. But when you've got big influencers out there that say, you know what, maybe it's not right for me, it's not a shame on them. It's a shame on Cobra and Cobra's marketing team for even giving these guys the chance to review Cobra One Length products. If you know they're not interested and you know it's not a concept for them, why do you keep sending it? All it does is make the concept less favorable. You can sell a lot more of single length irons or one length irons when it's reviewed by somebody who actually understands and actually believes in the concept. And I'm not saying that to get more things sent to me. That's not the case. I want this to be understood that single length irons or one length irons is truly a concept that can help people enjoy the game, get better at the game, simplify the game. That's my motto, golf, hard, or golf smarter, not harder. So why are we putting 14 different swings into a bag? That's the problem. I watch Rick's content. I watch Peter's content. I watch it all because it helps me craft ideas. It helps me bring better videos. And listen, you want a driver review. There's no one better than those guys. You want swing tips. Yes, I give swing tips, but I'm unorthodox. I teach a modified single plane swing. If you're a traditional swing guy, those are great sources for you. Go watch their stuff. It's a big community. We all want to join in this together. But when it comes to single length irons and the reviews and you know whether they're great for your game if you're a single length player, those are not the places to be. There's some other channels like mine out there that can give you great tips and great ideas and great reviews on single length irons. So for Cobra to send it, send their products to be reviewed by people who don't believe in the concept, if I was their marketing director, I'd be bashing my head against the fricking wall because you're not selling more clubs. You're deterring people from buying one length irons. You're making people not want to try single length clubs and try the single length concept by letting others who don't believe in it review it. It's just a bad mistake. And listen, from an honest gut wrenching standpoint, what happens if or when Bryson decides to leave Cobra and move to another manufacturer? I'm willing to bet Cobra stops. I don't think Cobra continues making one length once Bryson's gone. There's no reason they don't have the name to push it. I think that's why you're seeing more products come out from them in terms of putters and really trying to develop the other clubs that they have. Because I think when Bryson's gone, I think Cobra's done. That's my honest opinion. I hope I'm wrong because I think the more players in the game, the better it is. But I honestly believe when Bryson's gone, Cobra is done. And can they sustain and continue if Bryson leaves? Absolutely. But you can't keep beating the dead horse and letting people that don't believe and won't follow the concept give you a review on your single length irons. It just doesn't work. And to kind of back up my point of, I think they're done when Bryson's done is they've never Cobra with the exception of the very first sets they put out, the F7s and the very first forged one lengths. They don't believe in the concept enough to keep the same lie angles and keep the same offset throughout the set, throughout all the irons. That's something that all the other manufacturers do except for Cobra. That just tells me that they don't truly believe in the concept. They're just out there trying to make their money off of Bryson's name and create a one length or single length set. So I, I truly think for those reasons, that's why when Bryson, if Bryson leaves, they're done. You're not gonna be able to get a one length set from Cobra. And as I said, you know, I've had the opportunity to test a lot of the Cobra sets. I've had the opportunity to test different companies like Adele and Pinhawk. And the concept is a great concept. I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't switch to single length or one length irons. I'd still probably be fighting and struggling to break 100 and have 100 be a good day. I wouldn't be a single digit handicap if it weren't for single length irons. And, you know, again, it comes back to Bryson 
and really pushing it. But I think some of these other companies out there, the Pinhawks, the Wishons, the One Irons, the Adels, them not kind of working with Rick Shields and the other big YouTubers, I think helps the idea of single length irons because I think those guys understand that there's a whole theory to it. And just a one day review is not going to show you how much those clubs can help. So I know this is a rant, but I think it was well overdue for the fact that all these major influencers out there, I'm not saying they're pushing people away from single length or one length concept, but they're definitely not bringing them in. So here's a challenge I want to throw out there to Rick, to Peter Finch, to James Robinson, to any of those big YouTubers, to the golf techs, to the golf galaxies, to the club champions, all of those guys. Let's have a little challenge. If you want to do a true review on single length and one length irons, how about you actually take a month and play them and actually grasp the concept and get better understanding and working with the one irons or the one length irons, the single length irons, because to get good at single length irons, it's not how good can you swing, it's up here. If you get past the mental part, they absolutely help your game. So if you wanna continue, and those guys I mentioned, and this is not a bash, but if you wanna to continue to review single length, one length irons, do yourself a favor and use them for a month and then try out all the manufacturers get into the concept, actually live, breathe the single length concept. Don't just do it for a day. And listen, if you guys don't want to do that and want to keep getting the single length or one length iron set to you, but you want to give it a fair and honest review, send them to me. I'll do it. I don't have the connections that you guys have to get all these free irons. Let somebody that actually understands and lives and breathes the single length concept, let them do the review on the new Cobras or whatever company may be trying to push out their single length irons. Leave it to the experts. And listen, I'm not calling you, uh, by no means am I saying you're, you guys aren't experts, but you're experts in variable length, not single length. Let the guys that truly believe in single length, let them do the reviews on those clubs. Quit bashing them, quit putting them down, quit saying it's not for me, because it's not. Don't review something that's not for you. Let me review it. Let one of the other single length guys review it, because it's for them. We're the ones that can give the honest and true feedback on the new models coming out. And hey, if you guys wanna talk single length, I can give you hundreds of examples of guys that have knocked 20, 30, 40 strokes off their game by just switching to single length irons. If you guys wanna talk single length, one length irons, hit me up. Peter, Rick, James, Golf Tech, Club Champion, all you guys, if you wanna truly talk about single length and one length and how beneficial it is, let's talk. You can email me, you can connect with me, send me private messages through social media, it doesn't matter. But for God's sakes, guys, please understand that this is a concept that can help average golfers get better. And it takes time. It's not something that happens in one day. So let's give it its true due process. Let's give it its due. Single length works. It's just not being given its full opportunity. And that's my rant. So for you guys that are single length guys, I hope this helps you. I hope I've not offended you know, any of the other YouTubers out there. It's just a concept. I'm not gonna go review variable length irons. I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Because guess what? I don't play them. I don't believe in variable length. So you guys can have that. Let me handle the single length or let one of the other guys handle the single length. That's all I'm asking. Let's quit giving reviews that truly aren't good reviews because you're not into the concept. Let's be honest and fair about it. That's all I'm asking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you liked my rant, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like my rant, hit the thumbs down. I don't care. Leave a comment down below if you think I'm on target or off target. Let me know what you guys think, all right? And don't forget, go check out the website, singlelengthschool.com. That's where everybody that I mentioned in this video, you can go contact me there if you wanna talk single length. singlelengthschool.com. 
Again, on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, you can find me there. And until the next time, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let's keep golfing smarter, not harder. And until next time, I'll see you in the fairways.